What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today I wanted to do an in-depth wheel detailing video except for cleaning the tire. But we're going to focus on basically the rim itself, the barrel, and the caliper because the owner of this BMW recently was driving along, got this thing into a little bit of a mud puddle, and now you can see that these fresh wheels aren't looking so good. So what we're going to do today is use one wheel cleaner and a variety of brushes to make these wheels look their best. And to begin with any detailing process, uh, we always start with the dirtiest area on the vehicle. And on this car, it's obviously the wheels because this is where you get a lot of brake dust and all kinds of road grime. And if you didn't know, or if you're new to this channel, brake dust is extremely corrosive. So if it's left on the surface in these crevices, they'll start eating away at the finish and that's where you get that pitting effect. And on chrome wheels and painted wheels, that's why they start flaking off and peeling. So to prevent that, it's good practice to commonly or frequently detail your wheels. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So to begin, I'm gonna rinse it down. That'll knock down the loose, heavier stuff. And then we're gonna use some Diablo wheel gel which I've already diluted five to one in this dilution bottle. And this is the Ducky Foam Sprayer, which helps it aerate as you spray, which gives you a nice layer of foam and also kind of more lubrication. This is another way to, so you don't scratch the finish of your wheel. And also this is safe for any kind of wheel finish, whether it's OEM, chrome, painted, matte surfaces, it's all gonna be safe for this Diablo wheel gel. So we'll start by rinsing it down. Usually the wheels look better after you rinse them down, but in fact, this actually looks worse. And I can see all the kind of grime that's on the surface. So I'm gonna start by spraying with Diablo wheel gel. And we'll just give this a few moments to kind of help loosen up any of the grime, the brake dust. This way we're letting the cleaner do most of the work. I'm gonna apologize for any excess noise because we're outside the detail garage. The uh, garage itself is getting a few modifications. So we'll look forward to seeing that soon. But now we're gonna move on to the bucket. So already got the brushes set in there and I'm just gonna add a little bit of Diablo wheel gel to the water in there. And then we'll activate it using the hose. We've also added a dirt trap to this bucket which is going to help us prevent bringing any of the brake dust or abrasive particles back on the wheel and scratch the finish. Nice and foamy, thick suds. And again, this is going to help you clean and more importantly, it's gonna help you from scratching that finish. So after waiting a couple moments here, we're just gonna take the biggest of the brushes. This is the Red Rocket medium duty bristle brush. Get some foam on there. And we're gonna start at the highest point of the wheel and work our way around, going all the way to the back of the barrel. That's why you have this extended reach handle. This way, as you look through the wheel, you're gonna have completely clean, freshly detailed surface. As you can see, it's got that long reach handle. So now we're not exerting ourselves or you know, straining to get all the way to the back. Even on these deep dish wheels, it's got a plenty of cleaning surface. And also the wide bristle helps you get in between these crevices with little effort. So that's what we're gonna work our way around the wheel, frequently going back to the bucket to one, clean it off, but also to get more foam, because again, this is going to help us from preventing harm in the surface. As you can see, the red rocket brush with its very malleable surface and very flexible base is really easy to work into these rims. Now we've got a clean rim all the way around, but now we're going to get a little more detailed using the all in the details brushes. These are the black bristle brushes, which makes you know that this is for exterior only. But again, we're gonna work it into the crevices and the places we may have missed, like the lug nuts, and then we're gonna work on the caliper because as you can see, there's still some of that kind of runoff and mud on there. So we want these wheels to look their best and having a variety of tools for different jobs is sometimes necessary, especially if you're doing this as a business where you're going to have different kinds of vehicles with different size rims, whether you're working on a truck or a smaller car with smaller wheels, you wanna have a brush that works for every job. So the three set of the all in the wheels so the three set of the all in the details brushes really comes in handy. As you can see, you can also clean the face of the wheel. You can clean badges, get in here with the lug nuts, any tight crevices. 
A lot of guys use these for wire spoke wheels. This is a, a great way to get in between all of the intricate areas. But again, it's gonna be gentle enough where it's not gonna be harming the finish. You can see here on these smaller flat surfaces where it's harder to get a big brush in there. So the very nimble bristles, bristles of this brush make it easy to work any kind of grime. And again, the brake dust that collects in these surfaces to remove it all so it's not corroding on the finish. Get your wheels looking their best. It's very easy to do. And also if you spend a lot of money on your wheels, this is something that you probably want to do. To kind of protect your investment a little bit. Now just using the medium size of the All in the Details brush, gently agitating the cleaner. And again, I'm just letting the cleaner do the work. It's just I'm helping assist it by agitating it. And this is lifting and suspending any of the abrasive particles or filth that's on the surface, and then when we rinse it away, you'll just see a freshly detailed caliper, freshly detailed wheel. As I mentioned, we're excluding the tire because right now it's bagged all the way out, and uh, we'll work on that a little bit later before we wash the entire car. So now that we're done cleaning the wheels, we'll just take a clean microfiber towel and wipe off any of the spent cleaner or all the water so it's not gonna dry on the surface and create water spots. You can also take it one step farther and apply your favorite wheel protectant like Wheel Guard or Max Coat or even Jet Seal. This will prevent any kind of brake dust or water spots from etching the surface. It also kind of helps to enhance some shines so you can really bring out the glow and look of your wheels. There we go, just wipe it all off. The towel is still virtually clean, it's just kind of wet. That's because we've got all the brake dust, all the mud, whatever else is on the wheel off of it, and now we're not dragging it across the surface, we're just picking up any of the water drops. Well guys, there you have it. You see, without actually taking the wheels off of the car, that's about as in-depth of a wheel detailing as we can get. And these wheels look pretty fresh, nicely cleaned, and now they're ready for their protectant or some kind of coating on there so that they can look their best for as long as possible. So if you guys want to learn more about these products, head over to our website, chemicalguys.com, or visit your local detail garage for more product advice. If you like this car or this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to comment down below on future videos you guys want to see. And as always, we'll see you guys next time right here in the detail garage.